This avocado bun is perfect for a delicious, light and healthy bun to put your smash burgers or thick burgers or even your breakfast sandwiches on. And it's also great if you are of the gluten-free persuasion for any reason. There's no BS in it, only needs five ingredients and takes 30 minutes to make. Let's get started. This recipe makes two whole buns. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Start with two ripe avocados, but be sure to wash them first. If you don't wash them, all of that bacteria on the outside on the skin can get sliced right into the flesh of the fruit when you cut into it, so be sure to wash and dry them. Slice them in half, remove the seed, and scoop them into a bowl. Add two eggs, shred up about a quarter stick of unsalted butter, and add that to the bowl. Season it up with a little salt and pepper, and smash and mix thoroughly. You should end up with a kind of chunky mixture like this, and you might think to yourself that there's no way this will come together like bread, but it will. You can absolutely end here with your ingredients, but I have found that you get a much better texture and it holds together much better if you add a little keto flour, one-to-one -one gluten free flour, or even some arrowroot, about one tablespoon should be enough. You can always try again with two tablespoons and see which amount you prefer. I'd love to know, so be sure to comment. After you're finished mixing it all together, scoop it onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet into a circle about the same size as your buns would be. I like to add some sesame seeds to the portions that will be used as the top bun to add a little extra flavor and texture, but I've also seen people add everything bagel seasoning, herbs, or whatever you like. Bake them for about 30 minutes on the center rack in your oven. The bottom should get a nice golden brown color and they should hold together pretty good. Remove them after 30 minutes and place them on a paper towel lined plate to cool. After about five to 10 minutes, build your burger, sandwich, or whatever you like. Now it's time to crush them. I'd love to know what you think of this recipe. Personally, we love them. If you're using them on a nice greasy or juicy cheeseburger like these, that bottom bun could get a bit soggy. So have some extra napkins or even fork and knife that baby. Trust me, it's worth it. As always, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this no BS recipe, feel free to save this video for later. And of course, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like some more no BS recipes like this one, try one of these. Peace.